What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to post on this channel right now about Meta. Um, yesterday I talked about AMC and I talked about how I can talk about stocks if I wanted to and it's not any direction directly on this channel. So I'm glad that I can talk about this, but what is going on with Meta right now? Because it is falling in the pre-market. Now, I wanted to talk about this position before it goes live, so hopefully I can uh, post this uh, before um, the pre-market ends. Um, but I wanted to discuss what's going on in the pre-market, why we're seeing all of this, and um, you know maybe I guess give my opinion on what's the future of Meta and if this maybe will be an opportunity. So guys, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry AK, you can follow me over there. Um, but Meta. Um, has been kind of dropping lately, right? We know that the entire market is down. We know that things aren't really looking great for everything in the market. It's not just Meta. It's not just, you know, Amazon or um, Netflix or, uh, you know, Roblox or AMC or whatever, right? There's so many things that have been decreasing because we are in this more uh, recession, bear market, um, extremely bear market. And uh, yeah, all of the above, basically. So if we look at Meta right now, I want to show you guys uh, where we stand with Meta. Currently, Meta is at 100. Um, if we look at where it closed, it was at $129.82. If you look at all of the red, you can see that in the pre-market, it has dropped off heavily. It's starting to kind of consolidate a little bit down here, but it has dropped off heavily, and it's actually at $98.92, and it's down $30.00. Um, in the the pre-market and after hours market. This uh, came after um, uh, some earnings that you know came back um, at lower than expected. And you know it just wasn't a good situation. You know, obviously, if you know that the company is hasn't made money or came back lower than expected, and um, you know, also with other comments that are coming on that I will go through in this video. Um, it doesn't look bright for some future holding holdings of Meta, so it would be better for a lot of people to maybe short Meta in their opinion. However, um, this may be more of a reverse pivot opportunity um, because a lot of times when you see a larger loss in a company that's such a, a huge company that's looking to change what we think, um, or the way we think, the way we do things, the way we work, every single little piece about what they're doing it seems to be, you know, planned out in a in in a um, strategic way. Like I I know that this looks bad to see it drop this much and to see that they may even want to lose more money or knew that they were going to lose money and all that stuff. But you have to understand you know, that in order to take these leaps, you have to take a little bit of risks, and we'll talk about that um, in a little bit. But Again, it's down to $100, and this is the reason why I said that it may be a good opportunity because the all-time high or the 52-week high, I guess, is around uh, $353.83. Not saying it will get there next year, not saying it will get there um, you know, the year after that. Whenever we see, you know, this recession break and we see, you know, businesses starting to thrive again, I think things will be um you know, pretty great for things like Meta, for things for companies like Tesla, for companies like, you know, all of the uh, electronic innovative companies and all that stuff. So uh, again, we're seeing it at 98 cents and we see how it is at $358 here. Um, but when they do change the game, how much more is this company worth by changing the game, by making or seeing businesses use their, their headsets that are now very comfortable, that are, um, taking that first leap that other companies are not or don't have the the capital to do. Um, you see here at this low, 52-week low would be $122, but now the 52-week low is going to be $98 as it does open up wherever it opens up today. But anyways, like I said, this could be a pre-market pivot because this is at an extremely low price, which creates a lot of buying opportunity. You already see the shorting that could have gone on uh, yesterday into this pre-market, which means they would probably cover their shorts and all of that. Um, but then seeing a lot of positivity that comes up, or you can see more shorting that's happening depending on how the overall market views this. So 
um, I definitely review this as definitely a, a long-term opportunity um, from where it is now to what they will be in the future, which I think they could be worth, be worth so much more. But this all came off of, you know, um, bad earnings and uh, revenue coming back lower than expected. Um, users of uh, Facebook coming back up, uh, I think it's up 4% or 3% or something over the last, uh, you know, year over year, which is a good thing. Um, but again, you see where this is, you can look at the chart and look at how things are. It's really touching that 200 EMA here, which could be considered as a a support level bounce up to a, a level in the future. It doesn't have to be right now, but it could be a slower gradual gain. And then eventually when they start making a ton of money on this metaverse on these metaverse projects, um, things just go through the roof, right? So that's where I'm expecting it to, to grow from here. So again, you may see a pre-market pivot to where it actually uh, starts to come back up and it starts to run because it's at such a low price and people see it as an opportunity. Now, um, I did want to talk about this, which uh, I got to find where it is. Uh, right here, I think it is. So Meta plans to lose even more money building the metaverse while its ad business shrinks. So um, they actually, I saw um, Mark Zuckerberg talk about this and how they're not going to be making money on um, these products right here. So I have the Meta Quest Pro here, and this costs like a thousand plus dollars, right? A thousand five hundred dollars or something. And people, um, the spending on this, right? You would think that they're going to make a ton of profit out of it, but they're not. They have to price it there because of all of the R and D. They, um, Mark Zuckerberg said that they're probably going to lose money on every single unit, um, no matter how much they sell. But eventually, with everything that comes within the metaverse, and you can buy within the metaverse, you can do within the metaverse, and people that are on their platform, and they're known as that metaverse platform, as that, um, you know, kind of first to get to the scene and first to do it right uh, type of deal, which, again, I've only had it for one day, and it has already impressed the hell out of me with everything that it can do. Um, and it's not like it's you know, ridiculously different than seeing like the Meta Quest um, or the Quest 2. Um, but it is when it comes to seeing things like in the real world that's in in color. Um, it looks like better picture um, outside so I can see what everybody's doing. Yesterday I was uh, watching a, a movie and I was within the metaverse. I had the screen up that was posted over here while the movie was over there or the show was over there so I could pay attention to both and kind of multitask a little bit. So that's the type of thing that you could end up doing with all of this. I don't wanna go through a full review. If you wanna see a full review, I don't know where I can do it. Maybe um, one, of, one of my friend's channels that has a tech channel, he can do it. But it's definitely great. And I think what they're looking to do is more of the long game, not the short game, not worrying about where the, the financials are right now, to an extent, you don't want to go bankrupt by trying to do this, but you do want to risk a little bit and and show that there is so much success in where this is, which again, may create a better investment opportunity for everyone. So let me know what you think about this. What you, What is your opinion of Meta? Because as we speak, it is going back up and it's finding a way to pre, uh, to get back to uh, you know $100. Um, you are seeing some selling action, a lot of selling action, but are we going to see a reverse pivot? Um, our pre-market pivot here. So anyways, hit the like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. But I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.